I've had just about enough of this. Yeah, whatever. <sighs> what is this, Liam Lynch over here? Uh, this this attitude is putting uh, driving a wedge between uh, my best friend and me. This is sad for all of us, especially the podcast. Especially the podcast. I don't feel sad anymore. And welcome to Podcast Very Important, the only podcast you should be listening to. Each week, we count down the top 10 number one most important things you gotta know about any given subject. And our subject this week is Shane's attitude. Dumb fucking bullshit, dude. This is an intervention uh, for what I think is probably the most toxic thing that's happened in the last decade. I know what you're thinking. Why don't you have guns? Where are the weapons? If this is an intervention, it, you don't seem to be taking it very seriously. We want you to know that we don't have guns be- out of respect for Shane. Yeah, you know they'd be ineffectual. I've been training. Oh my god, the arrogance. And That's guys, something new he's picked up. You guys didn't play my wrestling intro yet. I'm not coming out till the intro comes on. Shane's been okay. This is another thing, listeners, that Shane's been Shane's been asking for intro music. He's to be fair, he's been asking for it basically constantly uh, the whole time we've been doing this podcast. But he's been even more vocal about it now. I used to say it before the podcast, and you said, "Oh, I swear this time we'll play it." You never did, but you know what? I grew a pair of big ones. Where you can't stop me. Where have you been growing these pears that you keep talking about? And this language. Where have you learned to speak like this? What? I haven't the I haven't the I haven't the mind for the gall of you. I don't know. The internet. Oh. Uh, yeah, found out about the internet, been doing that a bit, and let me tell you, things are gonna change around here, okay? I have a few things to declare. Okay. Okay. It's, uh, I mean Perfect time, perfect time for you to do it. I, what, before we my intro you, music? Okay, 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 oh. let's do the intro. What's the name of your intro? I don't know. Come don't on, know. you got it. You must have named this song. Fucking bad boy's also a dumb boy. <laughs> oh. Okay, <laughs> dumb, boy the, uh, dumb boy, the young no, elephant. It's called, it's called, like, <laughs> get up, like, let's, let's go. It's called get up, let's go. Get up, like, let's go. Oh, yeah, here it is. Oh, oh my God! Oh, it's mean. Yeah. It is masculine. It's, it's, it's so there's so much testosterone. This is how I feel it's these days. Irrespons- irresponsible sounding, expensive. Shane, this is terrible. And uh, welcome to the sage, Shane Digger. It smells like Irish Spring underarm deodorant. Yeah, sponsored by them. I've been drinking the stuff. Smells like the tinny, the tinny after scent of uh, Bud Light breath. Oh, it must be Shane. Yeah, I uh, I don't drink anymore, but I do uh, spritz the stuff on me. Try to get that smell out to intimidate. You guys know what I would do in a one-on-one situation with you? Crawl, Man. crawl up in the fetal position. Do Wait. do a little fart. Hope I think it's cute. Did you say you'd go win? Away. I'd win. I haven't heard him talk like this before. Look, let's do a role play. I know how to do that. Okay. We have a we have the soundboard uh, here. We're in PVI space. This is our um, social network that's just put together for us by Craig. Um, Shane's connection isn't very good. It all works perfectly well. Now there's one button that you're not allowed to press. One of the buttons on the. <laughs> On the keyboard is everything. And I know it which, is a problem. I know which one it is. Not that no, one. Not that one. I think it's four. I think it's that one. All right. I think that's. Uh, okay, so we're in a role play and I don't remember what for. Yeah, that's one great. on one that's scenario. Perfect. I'm going to take exactly you guys what out. We usually do. Okay, good. 
one-on-one -on -one scenario. Okay. Okay. Shane, this gondola is all not supposed to support two of us. What are you doing on here? Well, I guess you're going to go down to one one of us on here. Who I press the No. What, what do you want? Whip. Oh! Press the button to put all of them, so we'll wait this out. You guys are so lucky. This is like a Sonic song. This is premium content. We weren't supposed to have this on the actual podcast. Oh! Shane, are you mad about this? See, this is why my attitude comes out. You guys can't take a roleplay seriously where I whoop your asses. Our asses, man. Yeah, this is what it'd be like if we were on the gondola for two, for one. Okay, and I and I don't know how to stop. Uh, there we go. So Shane, you've been introduced. Your attitude, I just, I don't know why. I hope nobody looks up to him. Listeners, any any young listeners listening, please, please, this is not the man you want to emulate. Young listeners listening. <laughs> Sound off. <laughs> Five golden, golden. podcast. Podcast. All right, and we're and we're back. We're back with sound. Oh no. Okay, so we're just gonna leave that. still shut off. For That's a bit. like opening the fridge after you've put a, yeah. a badger or something inside because <laughs> it's been in your house. Do you know? No, I don't do that. See, this is what happens when I don't run the podcast. The sound of the the quick sound, the quick terrible sound that you just made reminded me of the time a badger got into my house because I was cooking basmati rice by the window, and I locked it in the fridge, and then I would go check on it periodically because I was hungry, not because I was worried about the badger, and I would forget it was in there, and I'd open it and be oh scary just for a second, then I would close it. Do you understand the analogy now? Badgers love basmati, basmati. rice. Well, just love basmati. All right, Shane. What is it? Uh, what is it with you? Have you ever tried to just sit down and think about your attitude as a big ball, big ball of yarn, big knot? Try to pull it apart, thread by thread, and find out what's in the middle. You know. Well, uh, first thing I'd like to declare, if we can get back to that, is that I don't think anymore. Done oh. with that. I realized I was doing that for other people, and me, hate the shit. Thinking, so, don't touch the stuff. Seem like you transcended. Yeah. He doesn't even think. He does. Do you even think about that? Shane, are you saying you've become enlightened? Like you've by using the internet and going to sites like Ebaum's World and Newgrounds dot ca probably Yahoo. Yeah. Yahoo. That you've sorted it out and now you've found absolute clarity and peace of mind total serenity yeah, like the godsmack song serenity i've realized i gotta act like an asshole now it's the only way can we hear a little bit of that jack uh serenity mm -hmm. made famous by godsmack sung by sully erna the diminutive irish uh man who's uh, who is the lead singer jack i want to hear it I don't want to hear about it. All right. So picture know? me and my boat this big, and I have a snake bite piercing. Cool. I need serenity. Mm. Oh, going down down the kitchen. I'm making the ice cream soup today. All right, listeners. Oh, wow, the microwave. Now, I'm gonna have on my way. This suits my new outlook. Let me this tell you. This is good. This is very good. This might be a healthy outlet for this attitude of yours that needs adjusting. Now, if listeners, just to let you anybody's watching, if you want to see, you can. You don't need to touch me that much. I you can look behind the scenes here. <laughs> Shane is in trouble. He's in the bad house. We've put him in the bad yeah, shit. Yeah, this is where I wanted to go. We can't make eye contact with him. We don't go past here. And the it's, blue zone. It's really just trying to contain the attitude. It's the red light district over there. Um, and that's sort of why he's half cut off. You can see. He's phasing in and out of his existence. Oh yeah. This there's a there's a railroad track here. This is the nice side. We're that's, on the wrong side of the tracks, baby. That's yeah. right. Trust me. You know, I, people used to always say to me, Shane, wow, nice guy, you're so nice. 
I, I said it once. Days. I said it once. What does that I get didn't me. always say it to you. I said it once. I thought it a lot, but I was too scared to say it. You should say that to people. It really makes their day. Connor, you're a really honest guy. Hey, man, you're really honest. And you know what? I appreciate that about you. Okay. Shane. Yeah. What do you like most about Jack? That would be a nice thing to hear you say. That's a good exercise. He's not always around. That's true. That's so thoughtful. It's nice to have a break sometimes. It's nice that he noticed it, it notices that. That you're not there. Some people don't notice. That's right. Absence has a presence. If I'm there, if I'm not there. That's right. I kind of forget it sometimes. Yeah, you're here now. Right? You're like the crossing guard that. the other day. Cool. Yeah. Yeah, you are here now. Unfortunately. Are you asking yeah. me to confirm it? No, yes, I there can, I am. Yeah, oh, yes, okay. yes. Shane, I just feels like you're always here, and I'm starting. To... Shane, where'd you go, baby? Yeah, what? <laughs> oh, you're so bad. Yeah. You're so bad. You're disappearing. This is so anymore, bad. Man. You're disappearing into the purple void. Listen, you got any bad, badass tattoos? You nasty man. You got any STDs? Yeah. What kind of nasty stuff have you been doing? Why don't you tell the listeners all the nasty STDs you've been tattooing? Show us a bit of skin. Yeah. He's got all these STDs on him. Which are sick tattoos, dude. Dude. <laughs> yeah, I got a tattoo of uh, God Save the Queen, uh, but it, I put a little arrow in it. It says, don't. God, don't, don't save God the Queen. Don't God, don't don't God, God save. save the Queen. Like that? God, well, don't save the Queen. Is that like a queen. phrase? Well, don't God save the Queen. Well, don't God save the Queen. Yeah. No, That's it was nice, actually, Shane. That is I was being rude nice. to the royal family. I mean, these days it's more controversial to be in support of the royal family. Am I right? Yeah, that's why I got another tattoo, and now it says "God Save the Queen" on it. <laughs> All oh, right, nice. okay, yeah. good. you're fucking mental. I can't believe you these days. It's it's nuts. He also got like uh, the mustache on the finger. That's yeah, I got cool. a Hitler that's mustache pretty- on my finger. Oh. No, Shane. So when I hold it up, I'm <sighs> uh, being a bad boy for photos. I assume it was a Charlie Chaplin thing, and now I'm much more disappointed than i initially was are people like don't worry it's a charlie chaplin mustache he only married uh, his daughter or whatever he didn't do that he married a 12 year old he made his daughter marry his favorite racehorse <laughs> which was sea biscuit i eat biscuit which was limp biscuit <laughs> sea biscuit i eat biscuit yeah that's yeah. right uh shane fuck oh, off shane. that's all i have to say to you shane <laughs> I can't believe it. I just can't believe it. Shane, your attitude's so bad it's brought out the uh, the worst attitude I've ever I seen. I can't Connor believe exhibit. it. I just, like, <laughs> I need to take a break. Yeah, you fucking better, man. Don't. I'm in a union now. Don't antagonize. A union, Shane? Yeah. I'm a real bad boy. I'm in a union, union-mandated break now. What union? Uh, CP24... Coupe. The news guys? Yeah, it's usually like a couple letters and numbers, right? Do you get benefits? No relation. Yeah. Are they hiring? Yeah, I'm union with benefits. Okay, well, Connor, talk are you thinking that. what we'll I'm talk thinking? About that on the break. What? Shut up for a second. Shane, can I join the union? I don't know about that. I'll have what to talk thinking? to the guys. Nothing. Never mind. Okay. We're going on a break now. So just hold on. <laughs> And hold your loved ones close. Tell them that you love them. And you just, you'll love them no matter what, as long as they don't have an attitude. You still have the effects turned off. (laughs) Imagine we played the jingle. Hi, everybody. Welcome back from the break. Uh... It's a good time here. We're all having fun. It's a little intervention. Jack and I yeah. are sitting down with one Shane Cooley, or as he's his new moniker, Big Bad big Young bad Shaney. Young Shaney. Yeah, Big Bad Little Shaney now. Oh, I even, he didn't even okay, say it so right. he's changing it and changing it at in the last second. Any, yeah, I'm a bit of a P wants, daddy, which stands for, doesn't stand for uh, pe- pedophile, which we found out. We did find that out. I'm, I made sure. We found that out. We found that out the hard way. <laughs> so what did you guys do on the break? I did a burpee, which is 
when you swallow something wrong. Um, okay. And then, <laughs> and then you think it's gone or you think it's stuck in your esophagus, but it's stuck in your nose and you suck it back in. And then it makes you do kind of like a weird backwards burp, a uh, little, little barfy burp into your mouth. And you did one of these? No, I did 20 <laughs> as fast as I could. You did it intentionally. You are sweating. Yeah. Oh, it looks like a workout. How do you You're think? You're pale. How do you think I stay this pale? <laughs> it's impressive. It's like an elf. Thanks. That's either the nicest or the meanest thing anyone's ever said to me. I got a Ooh, what'd you new do the deodorant break? over the break. Oh, interesting. I got a new deodorant. I got this one before. It was really nice. It smelled like pine. And I thought, why am I paying for this when I could just go straight to the source? Got the pine trees. Back, right? Oh, okay. Oh. Went out back, stripped my shirt off. Okay. Figuratively? No, full on. Okay. How would I get the sap on my armpits? Oh, yeah. yeah you so are, I just you are sappy. Like, you are sticky. Yeah. yeah, it hurts. It's in my, I have, my hair has gone pointy. I spiked it up for fun, but it's kind of stuck that way. Yeah, it's a, it's a crazy smell. It's a crazy smell like, <laughs> the, is, like yeah. under someone's bathroom sink. I think there's, I think there's ticks. Oh, yeah. Figuratively again? I Maybe I'm misunderstanding this. What would that mean figuratively? I, I don't know. You're the smart one. Oh, <laughs> I hope not. I hope not. Shane. Shane. Yeah. <sighs> what did you do on the break? Oh, uh, yep. Uh, you know, just, uh, fucking wreck the place up a bit. Did you notice? This place is a pigsty. It looks like a tip in here, listeners. As my mom would say. Just beat the hell out of it. Put some graffito. (laughs) Which is the masculine version of graffiti. Yeah, like, well, it's kind of like, uh... Graffiti's the small version. I did graffito, the huge, huge, big bubble letters that say puke. Yeah, that's so gross. Puke is a thing to not be spoken about, let alone I'm vandalized this onto a wall. Bad boy attitude, infectious. <sighs> it seems freeing. Yeah. Oh no, Jack, not you. I can't take it. Okay, that's it. Here, take this cigarette. I didn't want to do this. I'm gonna put. Take don't no, don't take this cigarette, Jack. This Jack, cigarette. No, I wouldn't even know how. Mm. Two against one, Connor. Okay, I didn't want to keep doing this. I didn't want to have to do this fun, fun hour. I didn't want to have to do this. Time for the podcast. Whoa. Okay. Hello. Hello. Hello, officer. Everybody, get on the ground. Okay. Badge number five. Get on the ground. Jack, does that check out? This guy sounds like he's got seniority. I don't know. I, just, I think we should respect him. He's got a seniorita. Okay. I've got a seniorita back home. Listen, cop, before you kill me, can I just finish with my first cigarette? I, I, I just love it. If you will, then you must. Is that your siren? Is that from your car? That sound? That's the power of the Something police with, coming sir, in. Sir, listen, I'm no, I I didn't get a bad boy without getting a master's in me- being a mechanic. So uh, I would think there's something wrong with your car. Maybe Sorry, you, you got a master's out. in being a mechanic? <laughs> <laughs> yeah, dude. I went to Mc, me, fucking master's mechanics school. Master mechanics school? For night mechanics. Where is all this lying come from, Jack? Lying? Did all of that come from that little cigarette? No. Well, hey man, you just learned in a figuratively. Thing or two. It did. I meant figuratively. This is the time I was being figurative. I mean, if it did, you'd probably want to take. The, like, Wait, you don't have to like answer that. Somebody, somebody just get on the manufacturer. Don't tell him. You don't have to answer that. Ask don't for, tell him. Ask like for a that. lawyer. I'll represent you. Don't tell him things like that. Can I have a lawyer? Ugh. Yeah, Shane. Hey, <sighs> Cooley Law attorney of it so you hear those confident pauses you fucking pick? what are you fucking saying to my boy here? i know i don't is he being detained <laughs> i don't I, are you on is the phone detention? with him i'm trying to understand what's happening i'm here is this are detention? we still in that role play this isn't a role play you're trying to arrest him and i'm telling you he doesn't have to say anything you don't have to tell him don't that don't tell him that coolly at law okay guys i'm getting close to pick? shooting to loading the gunshot sample in here so we better find a way out of this role play 
if it's a role play or not. I'm not here to argue that. But oh, okay. So now you're calling it a role this, play. Otherwise, that put that gun that the police introduced a little earlier, it's going to have to go off. Quick, Cooley, pass legislation that cops can't have guns anymore. Yeah, as attorney general, uh, damn it, do I have control of the army or something? What do lawyers get? Yeah, do I lawyers get the army. Yeah, okay. Uh, yeah, so I have a gun. I'll just shoot his gun the same time Okay. that he shoots it. All right. I'll disable him. All right. Uh, here, aim it at mine. I'm going to aim it at yours. Are you even going to raise it up and aim it at me? Yeah, I don't give a fuck, dude. Uh, Holy shit, he's not going to uh, win. Oh, oh, no. oh, oh my God. He shot himself. I didn't even do that. <laughs> no, it's fine. I didn't even shoot. No, it's cool. I burned myself in the neck with my cigarette when no one was looking. This is the worst thing. I, so, guys, I, look, you don't want to have to shoot your own. You don't want to have to shoot your Shane. You can take no, your, it's fine. If you take the policeman hat off, I'll stop thinking you're a policeman. That'll definitely help me, at least. Okay. Do you want the hat? Guys, if you want to stop the role play, I mean, I'm oh, just, I see, oh, I see, there he is. <laughs> Normal, okay, guys, I'm bleeding Normal. out, huh? I'm bleeding out. We were role playing, the role play's done, shim, shim. yeah, I knew that. Uh, so we've got three more to go, listeners, and oh. I can't wait. I thought you were like emailing or I am googling things or putting a mass order for something or. I don't know what you were doing on your what phone. Did you, what would you? What do I need mass order of? You know I'm a prepper. Preparation hater. Yeah. I have. I go to a support group. Which we're called preppers. It's a hemorrhoid support group. Yeah. It's not the nicest place to be. Shane, that's what a real I bad don't boy like is Thursdays. like. Piles. Yeah, you, you want to know a bad boy? You're a pile driver. A guy who sits down anyway. Yeah. Well. I got something to declare to you. Oh, no. Yeah, moved my bedtime. Oh, oh my oh. God. Nine o'clock, baby. What was it before? Oh, that sounds that seems earlier to me. A.M. <laughs> oh. oh. Yeah. You're fucking mental. So you want to talk about hemorrhoids? Well, let me tell you, that sleep schedule, it doesn't do any favors for you. Okay? <sighs> Crap. Can I you get hemorrhoids it. from being sleepy? Yeah, the way I do it. Oh boy, it okay. must be bad if you're uh, if you're a musician whose job it is to uh, write fucking lullabies. You must have a an ass so clammed up you can hardly sit down. <laughs> do you think the lullaby writers they fall asleep while they're writing it? <laughs> oh, for sh- have you ever heard one of those? Good night. <laughs> Imagine trying all day to write a fucking lullaby, Connor. I have. I've done it. Have you? What's it called? Lullaby Connor. Oh, that sounds nice, actually. Mm -hmm. That's the one I've written many of them. But it's about me flitting around your head. Okay. Trying to put you to sleep. Like a nice bird. In different ways. Like a bird. Hmm. What are these ways? Enumerate them. Enumerate them? Where are you learning these language words? This is the internet you're talking about? Let me tell you, when you get Bonsai Buddy on your computer, he starts telling you wild shit. What's Bonsai Buddy? I can't believe it. No, 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 no. some kind of virus? Yes, it is. It's malware. You can't have it. He said you'd say that. Who did? Bonsai Buddy. You're talking to him? Yeah, he said, hey man, man, your friends are going to tell you that I'm bad for your computer and your brain. Don't believe him. I'm like, yeah, dude. Hell yeah. Now show me some more of that hentai. Did he buy those cigarettes for you? Yeah. I gave him my credit card. This guy sounds great. I don't know why you sound so suspicious, Connor. There's a little purple gorilla. I'll tell computer. you why. Because that's what I used to do. I was the guy that used to go up to Shane and say, um, Shane, don't. Your family's going to say I'm bad for you and you shouldn't be around me. Right. <laughs> I take it. He takes advantage of you and his yeah. malware and is a virus and a toxic person. Yeah. They used to be me they were talking about. Yeah. And now it's Bonsai Buddy. I hear you tried to buy him cigarettes one time, though, but they busted you because they thought that you were two kids in a... In a... In a pair of overalls. Overcoat. Yeah. I was at that time. Oh. I was presenting as two kids in a... In See, a, you want to talk about my attitude? Well, you've been living on the edge for so long, Connor. Yeah, dude, that's true. I am pretty bad. Uh, I 
uh, can stay up till like four in the afternoon before I need a nap. <laughs> I have sandals. Mm. You know who else had sandals? For a bit. Jesus Christ. And he was one of the most famous terrorists there's ever been. Wait, he wear, he wore them as a bit? Kind of. He definitely what turned it into a joke? bit. What's the story when you see two when you see foot two feet? Oh yeah, so a guy in the sand? I know the story. A guy is uh after his life is walking with Jesus. Do it like the, Jerry Seinfeld. Beach. A guy is walking on the beach with Jesus. And he's <laughs> two sets of footsteps. And he's like, this is where I walked with you through all your life. And then there's a part where there's only one set of footsteps. And the guy goes, what the fuck? That's when all the hard shit happened. That's when I got kicked out of the Arby's. That right there is when the, uh, I became resistant to hemorrhoid cream. Where were you, Jesus? And he said, oh, sorry, I fucked off for a bit. Oh, geez, I had other shit to do. Boy. Right? Jesus is kind of a bad boy. So... Sandals, so maybe that's something scary. Yeah, you are full bad boy. There's no gray area. With me, there's lots of gray area. Eat the dust in your house. That's a favor to you. Go over, <laughs> go over your receipts. Make sure that most of them end with even numbers instead of odd numbers, because or else you'd be unlucky, right? What do you do with the odd numbered receipts? Keep them. You never know. You take the bad luck on yourself. They're for. I use them. Uh, have you ever heard of shit tickets? <laughs> what do you mean, have you ever heard of them? <laughs> I mean, if I said shit tickets, would you go, what's a shit ticket? No, like I know about toilet paper. Yeah, but I know about paying the man the, at the fair for... The, yeah, Shane knows what I'm talking about. Shit. You don't know what Wait, I'm talking about. Wait, you're paying a man to... Yeah, I'm it's, paying the man a, at the in, fair in with Europe. the receipts with that end with an odd number. At the fair? At the fair, so that I can use the... Ba- well, the... Uh, the uh, the, uh, the room... <laughs> <laughs> the bathroom yeah you know how they make you get tickets for everything at the fair it's to obscure how much money you've spent on shit tickets yeah so you you're paying know. to use a porta potty you are the baddest out of the three of us did you see that hubris here you were thinking you knew what shit tickets were yeah and he's paying to use the porta potty it's the superior type of toilet they come to you shane you know what would be really bad what if we did an intervention on Connor? Actually, no, that's actually. I don't think that's actually Fucking possible. Changed his attitude. Yeah. No, guys, my attitude's good. Yeah. Okay. You want to know what, Connor? If your attitude's so good, then what do you think about politics, huh? I think you should tell us from in your terrible little booth. You guys should switch spots. <sighs> yeah, we're get, you're we're switching spots. Video on. You're on trial. Video. You're on video trial. Video on trial. Did Uh-oh. you see how I okay, did, I go. did it? Tangle. I did it so that I didn't have to do anything. Okay. Yeah, that's very good. Okay, <laughs> where's you know what? Let's put it on to. Uh, let's put it on here. All right, already hate this. No, I can reach you. Okay, good. Yeah. <laughs> Right. Oh, you filled out in places I didn't expect. Yeah, I'm getting fat again. Part of my bad attitude. Your arm has. This sucks, guys. I want to say I think this is unjust and unfair. Shut up, little boy, you're in the chokey, you nasty little slut. <laughs> you're in trouble now. So, um, Connor, <laughs> we've actually called you here today to talk about your bad attitude. Yep. And if you answer us wrong, we're gonna. What? What are you, you with this you cigarette, do? You know what? Give me that. Yeah. Okay. That's fair enough. Yeah. True. Bad boy gets. Sick, Give me that. Right? Bad boy rules. Give me that. No, but if you answer what wrong, you we'll done? just What's hold it against you in weird ways and be passive aggressive and sort of unhelpful. What? Huh? I wasn't listening. All right. Sorry. What did you say? That's strike one. So you're strike two. Can we get on with this, guys. Hypothetical scenario. Okay. Yeah. Let's role play a hypothetical. Okay. Four. <laughs> Holy shit! It worked. Uh oh. Hi, sir. Uh. Welcome to the store. Yeah, you're lucky I'm here. You're really oh. lucky I'm here in the store. Well, customer's already uh, always already customer's right. Customer's already right. Right. So, so do, you don't even have to tell me. So I'm lucky. I must have been picking up sevens today on the way. A four leaf seven on the way here. Sorry, do you, you have me? I'm trying to. Re- I'm trying to do a return. Um. Oh, I'm just interacting <laughs> with this customer here. Uh, you're kind of a reverse customer, so I think you might always be wrong. Somebody here. who returns something, they take money from me That's in it. my store? Yeah, sorry. I'll be, Go ahead. You do what you were doing. Good. 
Uh, yes. No. no, I think you should deal with him. It's all right. I've got time. Okay. Wait. A, oh, is this a riddle? Okay. So he's always right and he's always wrong. Oh, but I already know the answer. Yeah. So I should talk to you. Is there like a CD for the soundtrack or is that just, is it a corporate thing or is it a Spotify playlist or it's really good? Uh, oh yeah. Uh, we got a guy on two turntables. He <laughs> mixes it back and forth. I'm looking for a special forth. kind of meat. So, it's called Tokyo meat. You're, sorry, you're looking for Tokyo meat, sir? Do you have Tokyo meat? No, this is a store. Yeah, well. <laughs> this not guy my sounds problem, confused, dude. doesn't he? <laughs> he sounds bad, too. I not can't see him. Problem. Is he smoking? Yeah. Uh, sir, actually, can't are you be, allowed to smoke here? You can't be smoking in here. Uh, no. This is a... This is a... But I do what I want, actually. T- uh, hey, this is do you see I- the bottom of my shoes? This is a- uh, sir, actually, can I see your, your ID? We, I, I'm tapping the sign that says no bad boys. And this is a gas station. That's very... That is, is the a, kind of store. This is a free serve, no containers, ga- bring your own container gas yeah, station. Yeah, this is a man. no loose waste gas station where we have a ladle and a ju- large barrel of gas. And I'm trying to... You I, shouldn't be way, smoking I'm above that, I'm trying to return this gas. That's what I'm trying to tell you. This is pee. This is piss. <laughs> Oh, you guys got camembert? Well, you, why'd you put it in your pockets? I can't get it out of there. Have you guys well, got camembert? Camembert? Uh, he thinks hey, this can is a video you, rental wait, store. Can you, read, about... can you read the labels on those gas drums there? Yes. I can't remember the brands. Okay, What's so here we have, uh, we have a, 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 a Taco Grande from Spain. <laughs> Was Taco Grande what you were looking for, sir? No. Okay, we have a Cookola Loaf uh, from France. We've got a Cookola Loaf. No, that sounds good, but not what I was looking for. Okay. Uh, we've got a Schweinkaiser. Schweinkaiser. From Germany. That sounds racist. I was looking for Camembert. Well, fuck. Uh, actually, you know what? I'll take a, I'll take all of it. You'll take all of our gas? And I'm going to give you guys a big tip for it. Okay. Because I'm actually a really good guy that doesn't have a bad attitude. Just kidding. I was joking. Just kidding. Uh, Connor fully fully lost the thread of it. You were supposed to be a bad yeah, boy. Yeah, we were, you were trying Turned to into, prove that you were going to be a bad boy there. Turned into a nice was, boy dude. who was maybe asking gas? for cheese, but then ended up buying all the The world's the fucking gas, dying, nice. You dude. weren't even upset that they didn't have the thing you asked for. It doesn't matter if and they well, sell it, it or not. It was kind of my fault. You should start guy. You should start spitting at it. It was it kind of my fault because I was... Looking for, I was looking for cheese and stuff there. That's not really their fault. They did their best to help me. You didn't say this is a free country once. Your yeah. sunglasses were on your face instead of on the back of your head. <laughs> you didn't say I'm a free country. Yeah. Yeah, but I was smoking. No. Okay. It was elegant, though, like Audrey Hepburn. Yeah, and you, you were know? careful. Yeah. I saw you yeah, ashing well, into your palm and putting guys. it into your back pocket. You should be ashing on anything and anyone you can see there. Little There's child, make him put his hand out, ash into that. Yeah. Okay. All right, we got to put you through. We got to put okay. you through another Talk, bad boy okay. We're role playing. Give me again. another one. Give me another one. Oh, I'm just an old lady, and I got stuck between these two banister po- posts. Oh, Ooh. not again, my beautiful wife. <laughs> How are we going to get you out of here? Hey, you two, shut the fuck up. I'm trying to bang my girlfriends down here. Fuck Maybe, you. Is that our shut up. To visit no, us? That's no, step it. grandson. That's step, it. I'm coming step up. Step grandson. Oh, no, but my ass is out. Oh, Granny, Maybe he can help. He's Granny, a good boy. Granny, what the hell? You got your ass out. It was before noon, and I wasn't expecting guests, and I was trying to crawl through the banister post to surprise my husband. Well, you surprised me. Here's a surprise for you. You're now an ashtray. Oh! Oh, no. Well, I, I mean, did that help? Fuck you! No, and burn then, my piles! Uh, hey, Granny, <laughs> guess what? Look what this is. Uh, I got it from the store. It's called an Uzi. That was wow. Better. Okay. Was a huge improvement. That's what you guys wanted, right? You oh, burned yeah. her butt. Oh, yeah. I was gonna. Uh, we can keep going. I was gonna use her. the gasoline that I bought from the store to burn her. Okay. No, I think that's. I, I was gonna dissolve them in the boy. gasoline, make meth or now something. We're gonna work on making him better. Yeah. Maybe we went too far in one direction. Okay. One more role play. We're gonna try to get you back to just middling. Okay. I'll stay bad. I'll still be a bad boy. 
Jack, there's I'm no saving of, him, but we need somebody. I feel like I'm doing a really good job being a bad boy, though. No, we're flipping you around. Okay. Hey, welcome to uh, our banister store, old lady. <laughs> oh, hey there. <laughs> oh, God. You got him, uh... Oh, don't trip into there. You got a whole lot of banisters out here, huh? Oh, this floor is slippery. No, don't trip into there. Put, Watch out now. You just wash the floors up the... Oh, boy. Squish, boy, squish. It's just a squish and a whip sound. Five and six, squish. top row. It's gone. Don't... It's gone. Nothing. Nothing. Squish, 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 whip. Oh, squ- oh, oh, let me just explain the noises you heard, young man. That, oh, it's very embarrassing. It, a poo. I did a poo. <laughs> I did a poo in your store. Hello. Wait. Hello. I'm here to buy a banister. Oh, Wait. Pardon me. I'm this so never boy happened to me before. Oh, pardon me, little boy. I'm very like embarrassed. In here. Do you have any Wait. napkins or a customer? It stinks in here. Wait. It so you slipped like next a to a banister and that made you sh- oh. shit? Oh, Granny. I'm so embarrassed. I'm losing my autonomy. <laughs> okay. Hey, oh, hey little help. boy. Little come boy. here. I'll clean it up for you. I'll come get clean up. You. I'm a nice boy. I can come and clean it up. Is that grown man offering to clean up my poo? <laughs> I, I guess so. Is? Maybe he's a nice little boy or I'm something like that. I'm a cute little boy. Look, I'll clean it up for you. Look, guys, the inspector's coming in, and I oh, can't what? have dirty banisters uh, like this. Oh, what? Oh. Oh my! It's slippery. Do I'm you gonna have a custom oh. washroom. I've already asked this question. <laughs> Look, there's a lot of problems going on right now. I'm trying. To, I can't multitask. That's why I opened the store. I thought no one would come in. Whoopsies. Little do you know, I like buying banisters. They're very close together, but not so close that I can't get stuck in them. Hey guys, yes. I got stuck in the banister. Okay, can you help out the little boy in the banister there? I. I'm very embarrassed. You don't have to. I'm really content here. I'm actually doing really good. I haven't revealed this, but I can't get out from this side of the desk. Because you have, like, spider legs, like in Wild Wild West, and no, they're not powered gout. right now because gas prices are so... Oh, gout! Gout! <laughs> <laughs> okay, yeah, yeah. You were nicer so, in that one. Okay. I was, yeah, I was a little boy. I was a little baby. Can I go in the bad boy box? Yeah. I'll switch with you. Okay. Yeah, I think it's time to change uh, Jack's shitty attitude, honestly. I think I've been very <laughs> cooperative and... Uh, okay, it's time to... Come on, kids. Take a walk on the wild side. See? Forget Already. Kids. He's out of control. Take a walk on the wild side. And the babies go... And the baby, and the baby girls go... And the baby girls go... Hey... And the baby boys go, yo. Oh. oh, oh, sorry, Shane. I guess I'm just getting ahead of myself here. Okay, okay, easy there. All right, Jack, you're in the hot seat. Let's talk about your piss poor attitude. Welcome to the store. Oh, no, you're the store. Hi, I'm, hi, welcome. I'm in the store. Hey, uh, own this store. Uh, owned it since my dad died. In here. Um, I I never bothered to learn how to do any of it, though, so... Do you know anything about anything in here? I, uh... Why, me? I know how to unlock and lock the door. I'm just a a customer. Do you have Tokyo Salami? Uh, well, let's take a peek around. Uh... Uh... Hey! This is a sir. I'm busy. This is a ter- This is a terrorist stick up. Um, sir, I'm, I'm busy. Di- I'm di- no, no. Just listen. This is important. I'm breaking the law in a really significant way. Do you have camembert? I, I'm I don't know blow- what anything in this store is. It's cheese. I'm gonna blow you guys. Unless is it a cheese store. You? I think it's cheese. Okay. I don't know. It sir, like unless you say that. that Excuse me, sir. I'm now. This actually, place is a country, mind, and it's my country now. Sir, if you wouldn't mind. And. Um. Oh, oh my god. Okay, well, that solved one of my problems. I don't have to figure out what camembert is anymore. I can help you now. What's up? Hey, just wanted to let you know that I actually don't feel bad about. 
<laughs> shooting that man and maybe killing him. <laughs> hey, uh, so what did we learn there? Jack, I think by accident was a bad boy in that one. You were very polite. You let them talk a bit too much. Oh, no. Are you uh, okay? Oh, I'm, this is I'm stuck in my head. That's all right. I actually oh. like it. Down the day, you're making it worse. You guys want to know what I like to do? What I like actually love to do? All, Enumerate. All, I'll buy a big tub of yogurt and I'll eat straight out of the container with the same spoon and the enzymes from my spit will get in there and it'll make the fucking yogurt all runny so that the next person who goes to use it has this horrible brackish yogurt and I'll watch them do it. Horrendous. Uh, Absolutely horrendous. I disagree. I think that saves time. That saves money on more yogurt. That's sensible. I don't. I think it's morally neutral. I'll lie down in a shallow puddle on a hot day and just wait for mosquitoes to fully cover me. And that's why he's in the blue box, ladies and gentlemen. Jack Piss. And it's time for the top ten number one. Oh shit, we did it. What's the button? Who cares? Uh, let's see. What's the button? I, I'm trying to figure What's it the out. Button? Hold on, I'm trying to figure it out. I need to activate it. That's not it. Oh, well, we're another rope. Oh! Oh! oh, he's just shooting people oh, in this role play. He's in bad role play. Oh my play. god. What's the button? Uh, help! Uh, I'm trying to figure it out. Help me show me right in my I little... Second let me show my, my bum. Uh, oh. Uh, uh, or, oh, help. No. I what is the bad one? I turned it off, so it okay. couldn't be bad anymore. I got it. All right, so okay, that's everyone. Wait, so we did it. Well, oh my God, this podcast is very important. Mm. Top ten number ones. Enumerate them. The top ten number one things you need to know about our bad attitudes. Uh, number ten. If Shane wants an intro, if you know somebody who wants an intro, don't give it to him. You're really just feeding their. What would you call it, Jack? Hamster, maybe, or uh, gerbil. I Sorry, I wasn't really listening. I was thinking hubris, but yeah, that's all right. Uh, number nine, don't let them have a cigarette. It only makes things worse. I had a little puff of that thing. Thrown it at a granny asses. And then freaking Jack was swearing. Uh, number seven, your chain might be like ours. Or sorry, number eight, trying to have them think of themselves. We said, just freaking think for a second. Absolutely not. And number seven, your Shane might be like ours and doesn't think. So number eight doesn't apply. Number six, don't let them get tattoos because they'll do things like, well, don't God save the queen. Oh, my God. Get that tattooed on them like that's some gross guy. Number four, or sorry, number five, Hitler mustache tattoos are also a thing that Shane has got. I, no, I up. take that one back. Uh, number four, you can shoot your Shane. Uh, ours shot himself for us. Uh, number three, warning to everybody who has a Shane as a friend. He could move his bedtime at any time. They don't tell you you can do that. Listeners, you can do that. Don't let them stop you. Got to read the small print. Number two, don't let him get a hold of a uh, stapler. He's going to hurt himself. Did or, I have a stapler in this one? If, nope. In the top ten, number one, is, that's because I followed that rule. I didn't bring it. I didn't, there's none in the vicinity. That was smart. That was smart. In the top ten, number one most important thing you need to know about Shane is... He doesn't know what's in a grocery store. That's not. Where did these last ones come from? We did a bunch of other shit. What do you? What do you? You think? had a bad attitude. Jack had a bad attitude. I I'm, know my attitude's coming back. I might ha have to go into the box. I had that. I had a bad attitude, but I didn't have anything about it. it I kind of, it was all right. It sorted itself out. I was just a little boy, and it was okay. I live. I live here now. So yeah, no, that's kind of your place. It looks like uh, it reminds me of your cupboard under the stairs. That's what it was reminding me of, too. And at first I thought I was just starting to feel sick. But now I understand that this feeling is that it's reminding me of where I used to live. Mm -hmm. I'm feeling sick. I've got flop sweats. <laughs> uh, so do you want a different top 10 number one than Shane? No. I don't even care about any numbers anymore, man. All right. Top 10 number one is your Shane might not even care. Don't even give a heck. Top 10. Here. Uh, new, Shane's new top Wait, 10. Wait, don't play it yet. 
Uh, we got to do the thing. Uh, oh, you're review. Right. Leave a review. Fucks. Oh, okay. If you guys like this more than I did, you can leave a review of any stars. Uh, and write the following. Hey. What was that thing that I saw Connor doing on my friggin' face the other day and the other night (laughs) I found it out when he (laughs) came over on the day and (laughs) the night five stars oh and jack taps out beautiful play the friggin' song get let's get out of here thank you everybody yeah uh, thank you thank oh, you this so, is the only thank episode you honestly so much we'll ever do that was a good one now we know we can't do it live. very important i feel like this is a learning moment sorry oh funny and Oh, funny or else. Oh, funny or else. Oh, have a good day. Yeah. Have is a that good, what it is? Have a good one. <laughs> Bye. 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 <laughs>